Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be showing you guys a recipe for these delicious protein berry pancakes. So to start, we're going to make the jam or jelly or whatever you want to call it that will go in between the pancakes and on top. So I took about a third of a cup of medjool dates that have been pitted and just a splash of water. You don't really need a lot. And we're going to pulse the dates until they become sort of a paste. Next, I'm adding... Um, some frozen berries that I've just thawed out on the stove. You can do this in the microwave, it's obviously a lot faster, but I don't have a microwave and a pan works perfectly fine. So we're gonna add that to the food processor and blend it, not really until smooth, just blending it to get it incorporated, and then we'll add our chia seeds. Now the chia seeds will add a little bit of protein, but will also, their main purpose is just to thicken the jam so that it becomes more of a jelly-like consistency. This is what it looks like when it's all fully blended, and we're going to set this aside in the fridge while we prepare the pancakes. So I'm making a oat flour just with some regular oats and using my food processor to grind it up into a pretty fine consistency. Um, these are a little bit healthier than traditional pancakes because you're not using all-purpose flour um, or anything, any sort of refined flour, it's just oats. <laughs> um, so. I'm showing you guys what the consistency should be. It should be fine and powdery, very soft. And I'm going to add a packet of this dairy-free protein powder. Um, this one is a vanilla chai flavor. It's really good. You can use any sort of protein powder you want. If you want these to be chocolate pancakes, you can use chocolate protein powder. You can use a plain protein powder and flavor it however you want. It's up to you. And I'm adding a whole banana. You can pre-mash this beforehand and it'll have a sort of eggy consistency or you can just keep it as is. I'm adding a lot of cinnamon because you can never have too much cinnamon, I, I, I don't think. Um, and then I'm gonna add some vanilla extract and half a tablespoon of baking powder. Depending on how fluffy you want these to get, you can add more. So I am now adding one half one half, half a cup of almond milk and a fourth a cup of almond milk. I will eventually add the other fourth cup when uh, the mixture is blending. So in total, one cup of almond milk, just to keep it very simple. You can add it at any point you get, I guess. I just added it at separate times. So I'm just going to blend it until the mixture is completely smooth. And as you can see, I'm all adding the last bit of almond milk here. This is what it should look like when it's done, or this is what mine look like when it's done. If you want a runnier consistency for maybe thinner pancakes, um, add a little bit more almond milk or water to thin it out if you don't want to have the extra fat from the almond milk. So next in a pan, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil. You can add um, no oil if you don't want to, but I don't have a nonstick pan, so that would not be a pretty result <laughs> without something to uh, stop it from sticking. Um, and these pancakes don't develop a lot of air bubbles like traditional pancakes do. So just take a look at the sides. If the sides are golden brown, then it's ready to flip. This is a pretty thick mixture, so you may have to shape the pancakes yourself, which isn't a problem, it won't affect the taste or anything like that. Um, so I just shape it into a type of circle. <laughs> and once it's ready to flip, just flip it again and wait till it's cooked on the other side completely. Now I'm just going to transfer, transfer, transfer the pancake onto a plate and assemble with my toppings and all that good stuff. So it's very simple, just pancake, jam, pancake, jam, pancake, jam. And you can top this with whatever you want. You can add more berries, like fresh berries. You can add uh, bananas, you can add nuts, you can add more dates, you can add coconut, like I did. Uh, maple syrup, agave, if you don't want to use maple syrup, the possibilities are endless. Strawberries, um, whatever other fruit you want, I guess. I've even seen people do like nectarines or peaches. Um, so the options are all yours, but these are the final products. They were really, really good and actually pretty filling, decent amount of protein. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you give this one a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Bye, y'all.